one minute review on a character link in the description below and in the comment section for your reaction whatever if you uh, hopefully I've, I've, I've established this at this point and go all right, uh, this time I'm going to talk about Sadie. Sadie in herself kind of bothered me a little bit in the beginning of the series, even though I probably did not show that kind of thing. She kind of captivated as a character who did did what she thought was right, but in in another stance, and another stance would probably be annoying for another person. For instance, when she did the thing with Lars. If you really think about it, that was a pretty douche thing to do. But since it was in good intention, I kind of looked past that because in the end, you did kind of live in a world where creepy and weird stuff like this just sort of happens. Plus, it led up to a, a pretty good episode where a lot of melons uh, encompasses that same exact island, right? But back on to Sadie. Sadie uh, is a strong character mostly because she had an arc that it really centered around Lars. And having a character that's centered around another character, thus showcasing this this other feeling of love and relationship, actually was a nice a nice uh, thing to put into the show. When doing this in one minute, it's very hard. And so, Sadie and herself, great. Again, do not take my one minute ramblings as like the definitive way I view certain characters because I only got one minute on this sort of thing. If you want me to get more in depth on a character, ask me in a live stream, and I'll definitely. Uh, go more in detail about it, but this is just mostly because I just feel like doing something for these I know it's kind of annoying for some people, but I'm, I'm annoyed when I don't do anything So we're kind of have to come with a compromise guys have fun with the reaction